most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Great to be with you here on this Wednesday, and we are going to get a pattern shift eventually to a more humid and wetter pattern, and it's actually going to start tonight. Uh, but until then, more dry weather, kind of a partly sunny day as we check out Mifflin Town nestled in the valley. And uh, it is uh, it is an OK morning at 64 degrees, not quite as muggy, not quite as warm as it was yesterday. Dew points have dropped again into the 50s to near 60 degrees here in Mifflin Town, but there are some clouds around this morning. We hit 82 yesterday hovering around normal, but just under that no rain yesterday in the gauge and now over a five and a half inch deficit. We're longing for some rain. We're desperate for it and we are going to get it. Look at how close it is and it's going to hang around today just to our south before we start to see a push of this moisture northward. So today, just like yesterday, a lot of clouds, some peaks of sunshine at times, uh, a little less humid than yesterday, but the big story today will be the breeze. We'll get into that in just a bit. Temperatures starting out in the low 60s. This is a little cooler than yesterday. We even have Allentown at 57. You'll notice the numbers. It's not a big change, uh, but it is noticeable. And along with the cooler weather, dew points have dropped back down into the 50s. So I'm not uh, thinking that it's going to be overly humid today or through the end of the week, but we start to really see the humidity increase over the weekend and a much more summer like pattern ahead. Daily chances of showers and downpours. A few thunderstorms on the way, and this will be exactly what we need to try to slowly climb our way out of that drought. So the humidity meter is back. It's that time of year. It was certainly noticeable yesterday, but today it's going to feel uh, a lot better as dew points kind of sit in the 50s to near 60 degrees. But look at all this rain hanging out near Ocean City. Uh, it is going to be wet here tonight, and that's another thing. I think we can get the daylight hours, and if you've got plans, it should be a OK. Remember, we've got high pressure sitting here trying to move that drier air southward. We've got low pressure sitting to our south trying to push that moisture northward, and so we're kind of in that battleground. But eventually this low is going to win out in between. Whenever we get a battleground, we get a breeze, and it is going to be noticeably breezy here today and tomorrow as we eventually see the showers take over tonight, and we have kind of a cloudy and at times a, a wet day on the way tomorrow as well. So we'll get into all of that. If you're going to be doing dinner on the grill tonight, it should be fine. Now, uh, the showers, I think, hold off until 9, 10 o'clock. However, some of our southern tier counties may start to see some light showers develop around 7 or 8 o'clock. But again, if you're eating dinner, you're going to cook on the grill. It's not going to be anything heavy. I think you can do it. And uh, certainly, uh, depending on your type of patio, even dine outside. It's going to be comfortable. It's not going to be in the 90s today, that's for sure. So notice how Precision Cast tries to open skies up today. We may see enough dry air to get a few peaks of sunshine. But here is 9, 10 o'clock tonight. We start to see the showers push in. It's going to be a wet night as the rain kind of takes over. That will taper to showers tomorrow morning. And then I think the rest of Thursday actually looks drier as well. Moving into Friday, scattered showers return. Maybe even a rumble of thunder here on Friday. It's possible. We'll see off and on showers into Friday night and then again on Saturday. So how much rain through the end of the week? Again, it's going to depend on where you live. I think most of us can try to squeeze out a half inch of rain here through Friday. Some of us may be lucky and even get more than that, perhaps up to an inch in spots, perhaps over a half of an inch in spots. But this is exactly what we need to at least stave off any further drought concerns. We're not going to get out of the moderate drought that, that we've dug ourselves into, but it is going to be something here as the winds really pick up today, 10 to 20 miles an hour. And you'll also notice here it does turn a little bit breezy and stay a little bit breezy tomorrow. I think precision cast is, is underdoing the winds a bit tomorrow. Let's not forget tropical storm Brett still sitting in the Atlantic, moving to the west at 16 miles an hour. The good news is, at least right now, Brett, uh, despite the uh, hype, that we've seen with warm ocean waters not going to strengthen. It's actually going to weaken into a depression and likely stay away from the US. So we're hoping anyway, uh, we don't need that uh, type of weather here. We can see the rain, though. It is going to be humid heading into next week. Alley temperatures in the 80s and daily chances of showers and thunderstorms. That pattern exactly what we need going into next week. All right, sounds good. Thank mm -hmm. you, Brett. It is time now for this morning's social.